Come on, come on, come on. That's the point. That's the <laughs> Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful sunny Lviv, Ukraine. I'm right now with my guy Diana. Good morning. And we are driving three hours south to the Carpathian Mountains. So if you guys don't know about this area in Europe, it's like four or five countries bordered down there between Romania, Ukraine, Slovakia, Hungary, and Poland, right? The area we're going in specific is literally right next to Hungary, right? Right. And this is a long drive to get down there. Three hours, we're stopping at two different places today. So the first one's like a monastery? Uh, no, it's not a monastery. It's actually a former fortress uh, okay. from the 11th century, which was uh, built on the high cliffs. Afterwards, we make a stopover at the fishing uh, a trout, uh, actually restaurant. <laughs> it's, like, so it's, a, it's called Golden Trout, right? Yes. So we're gonna go fishing for trout. We're gonna have some caviar. I'm excited, it's gonna be long. I am half asleep right now. <laughs> it's really early, it's seven in the morning. Let's go. So we're currently exiting the city. A little bit of traffic, Monday morning, you know, usual stuff. So let me ask you, what is this and how far is the fortress? This is the highway, Kiev Chop it's called. It goes through the city. Chop is the last city in Ukraine that borders on Slovakia and Hungary. Uh, the fortress is in one hour and approximately 15 minutes drive. Well, we'll be seeing Ukrainian village, villages, uh, farmlands. Too early, we need coffee. <laughs> we have some farmland. I'm sure it's gonna be very beautiful. I saw the fortress online yesterday. It looks incredible and I can't wait to eat the trout. Fishing for trout and eating caviar. Caviar here is like, oh, it's so good. It's like right next door Moldova, you know? Trout caviar. Trout caviar. It's red, it looks red and tastes similar to an ordinary classical red caviar, but it's gonna be a different experience. That traffic felt like I was in Kyiv. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, it took us like half an hour to get out of the city center, but now we're on the highway, making our way straight south. It's hilly, it's a little windy, uh, you have farmland, but a lot of nature, right? Right. Beautiful. So you can observe the trees here, how they change, mostly deciduous trees, a little bit of fir trees. You will also see, as we get closer to the mountains, there will be waterfall. <laughs> Stunning place. And in terms of like what it reminds me of, just like driving through like Poland and stuff. I've been on roads like this in Poland, very similar, yeah. right? A sunny, sunny, little chilly day, but you said it's gets a lot hotter down here, right? Yeah, it's hotter in Transcarpathia, always. They are more to the south. That's why they grow grapes and produce wine. <laughs> so we just made a right off the highway into a small street where there's little villages here and there. Look at the bridge. <laughs> wow, look at this. We can walk on this bridge if you want. I can I stand by the road. And Let's do it. Walk. I'll just, Good. I'll see you really fast. Oh, this is gonna be great. I love it, and they painted the, the bridge blue and yellow, the flag of Ukraine. What is this? Oh, look at this old bridge. Woo! It's a little scary. I know, I know. No, the village is gonna get mad at us. Can't destroy their, the only thing that connects them, right? <laughs> wow, beautiful. So these are just two small villages that are connected with each other, right? Yeah, this is Krushel, it's a village and it has this special very old bridge that you can see it's wooden and metal here. And if you look attentively into the water, you may see the fishes. Oh man, that water looks incredible. <laughs> look, yeah, small fish everywhere, right? Yeah. Beautiful, what a great day. So this is what it's like to be here in, uh, in spring, huh? How far is the fortress? Where is it? The fortress is in 12 kilometers. Just across these villages, the road is good and then we will be jogging up the cliffs. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> What's up with this? The farmer's camp controller cows. <laughs> we just made it here to the village where the fortress is. Wow, that's it in front of us? Yeah. Oh my gosh, so it's like huge stone boulders, <laughs> right? Now you see just the pile of stones and we're gonna climb them. <laughs> so we just parked in this lot and as you walk through, there's a lot of vendors selling lots of craft goods. They got wood, they have tea, jams, coffees. My friend, this is awesome, look at this. Baseball bat. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll come back after, okay? okay. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna climb up there, we gotta run. This reminds me of a place I went to in Albania, where you go up to the top of the rock 
Woo! Beautiful. Let's go. Here is some tourist information in both Ukrainian and English languages. And this is a photograph how this fortress looked like about the plants that grew here. But we continue. So this is what it used to look like. Obviously it was made of wood. It burned down, right? Okay. To go up to the fortress, it costs 65. It's open from 9.30 to 5 p.m. Uh, that's November to March. And then April to October is 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Just so you guys know. This is the local lady who is baking. Fantastic bun. Of course, she's a character here. She was shown on TV and I'm always here. She always feeds me. <laughs> I'm going to get one of those buns right after. But first, let's hike up. I don't think it would be good to eat that and then run. It's like the wooden plank, huh? Wow. Look at those boulders. So the fortress was literally here. We we're walking. This was the walls, right? From what the from what it showed over there. It was upper, actually. It's like a random mirror right there. <laughs> <laughs> a mirror in the rock. Oh, so beautiful. Man, the fresh air. The trail continues up on the side of the boulder, and then we're gonna go up all the way. Wow, look at this. Oh, nice. And this is it, where the fortress used to stand, right in between all these boulders. Look at the views, incredible. But here we have basically the wilderness, right? Lots of trees, forest. Wow. The oxygen A lot of here. oxygen. A lot of oxygen. <laughs> I was like falling asleep before and now I feel great. Uh -huh. This is incredible. And right here in front of us, we have like a little, I guess, depiction of what it used to be, right? And how they built it. This is great, so you are right here. Yeah. You can also get views in between, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go see that. So the area is for one day outreach trip and we, first of all, we are hiking. Secondly, we are learning the local history of the 11th, 13th century and uh, we enjoy the nature. So there was a fortress here. You can see the whole uh, tourist information and you can also visit a museum, which is very interesting. You see it, right? So you get the rocks, you get beautiful views. And then on the way down, we'll see some more rocks and views, right? Rocks and views, and there is an old well also, the place where the festival of, well, medieval fast festival takes place. All right, let's go. This is awesome. I haven't been to a fortress like this before. Be careful on your way down. It's a little slippery. Ooh, I gotta be really careful. Even though it's a beautiful sunny day. It must have rained last night. It's moist, it's damp. Oh, but the air up here. Feels so incredible. Yeah, only 90 minute drive from Lviv is an easy day trip. Come out here, see the fortress. You can go down the springs. You can also see over here to the right. This is archaeologists who discovered the fortress, and they also have an area here for festivals. Let me get a quick bun. Yeah, poppy seeds. Hello guys. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Everything good? Really good. Yeah, they try to help. Me. you. So poppy seeds are really popular here. Very popular in cakes, in different desserts, and even in vareniki. <laughs> mm. It's basically like a cinnamon bun. Yeah. Mm, nice bun. Look at the poppy seeds. Lots of them. Crazy. You'll get sleep then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we're going to a waterfall, right? To a waterfall, yeah. Okay. To see the beautiful nature and to see what kind of craft people are selling, uh, what mm -hmm. kind of uh, food stuff like barbecue, pickles. This is very tasty and very interesting experience. You're amazing. <laughs> I've never seen potato kebabs like this. This is great. I love it. So definitely come to this area. This is uh, basically gift shop, right? They have jams, like I said before, wooden uh, crafts, but they also have some of these like liqueurs, right? So blackberry. Oh, can I try? Can I try something? Oh, yeah, she's only try, right? Mmm, nice. Mmm, cherries. It's way too early in the morning for these liqueurs, but I'm good. I gotta try it, right? Oh, that one's super sweet. Okay. Thank you so much. That one has like honey. Mmm. Definitely come here, eat some potato kebabs. Thank you guys, thank you. Bye ciao, bye. ciao. Oh, the locals here are too nice. Always support the locals. David, from here we have 15 minutes back to the highway and then another deviation, five kilometers, to the waterfall and to handcraft and food market. Ah, oh, now we're stuck here. Now we have the train to pass. That train's like more of an inner village train, yeah. right? But it's super fast. I mean, it just flew by. Oh, this is... <laughs> People usually go there with backpacks, with a lot of alcohol. <laughs> they sing songs and drink. <laughs> you gotta love Ukraine. Slava Ukraine! Heroyam Slava! This road is intense, huh? <laughs> 
the first bad road I experienced in the Ukraine is this one. You know, infrastructure wise, the, the country's getting way better, but obviously this is like a tiny area. There's not even a village out here. This is just a waterfall, right? And uh, to the right, we have a beautiful forest and we have like a river, right? So it's the stream right here and the waterfalls at the very end. And there it's also a souvenir area, right? Food area also. Ukrainian street food, right? Exactly. Oh, oh my gosh, you gotta hold on. <laughs> oh wow, look at that waterfall. Oh, and I love it, man, because look at this, the farmers coming here with his horses. Look at this. Yes, I know. So it's like a little strip, right? Yeah. Okay, let's check this out. I love this, the sound is so peaceful, the nature, the air, the sun. This is just an incredible day. What a peaceful experience out here in Western Ukraine. You wanna get closer to the waterfall, you're gonna climb these boulders, get right up to it. Woo, careful, it's a little slippery. Oh, wow. This is great, Diana, amazing, amazing. Hey, we had the waterfall called Kamyanka. Kamyan in Ukrainian means a stone, so there's lots of lots of stones here. <laughs> it's beautiful, there is a story that if you wash your face with that, you will stay young forever. I guess I'll wash my face with it. <laughs> she said I'll wash my face with it, right? Oh my God, it's freezing, it's ice cold. Oh. Woo! All right, let's go back to the top. I wanna see the street food. This is a beautiful artisanal strip. I mean, you have seven vendors roughly. Some of them are cooking incredible kebabs like these. Let's see, you have like mushroom kebabs, potato kebabs, more honey, more jams, more tea, tea, infinite tea here. Oh, it smells so good. You smell the fire. They're cooking kebabs, stews in the back. Wow. Can we try this? This is a rainbow trout. Uh, so it's gonna be baked. There's another type of trout called golden. So this is a very tasteful dish, tasteful fish. I highly recommend it. If we weren't going to the trout restaurant, the fish for trout, we would eat right here, right now. But there's something else I wanna show you too. Over here is like a venomous <laughs> snake drink. What is this? This is like uh, a spiritus. And there we have herbs, and then we really have a venomous snake there. I don't know if I would try that. That's a little scary. Look, look at the snake. Oh man. Should we try it? It's like in a laboratory. I know, I know. I'm not trying it. I'm not trying it. If we weren't going to this amazing restaurant, I would eat right here. Look at this pork ribs kebab, sausage, potatoes, chicken, right? Oh, that looks so good. Oh. I can smell it. It's like I'm salivating right now. Smoking. It's too much. It's too good. You're gonna get back smoked. <laughs> <laughs> so this lady's gonna treat me to something. What is this, honey? Well, a kind of a pine tree has the fruit. How is that called? So this is the jam from it. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Mmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What is this fruit? It's like dry stuff that grows on the pine tree. How's that called? So they make jam out of it. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I don't know, but it's almost like a honey with like little nuts, right? The honey out here is awesome. One of the best places in the world to get honey is the Ukraine. <laughs> Smoked Carpathian coffee. This is awesome. <laughs> Incredible, my friends. I can't wait. So as we wait for the coffee to settle, I'm gonna try some honey vodka. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, cherry vodka. Oh, oh my god, this lady's trying to get me drunk. Mm. Wow, that was good. These are way better than the last ones I've had. This lady really wants to try all her vodkas. The next one is a root vodka. It's good, but wow, that's strong. I can't finish that. Oh my gosh. The next one's herb. Okay, they're all super strong. My favorite was the honey one. You should have a bite of this pickled cucumber after this strong drink. Okay. <laughs> mm. That's so good. I love pickle. So I'm saying drink more and eat some more pickle. Mm. That was good though. Super strong though. What did I tell you? In the Ukraine, you're gonna drink every day. <laughs> She's so nice. This is kvass. It's a very famous old Ukrainian and Russian also, but we are in Ukraine drink, which is made on bread. No alcohol here, zero alcohol. 
Холодно. Добре. Це like фризанте, це як сода, right? Зробити вам. Ммм, вау. Woo. They don't stop giving us things. Like, what are you drinking now? Mojito. A real one? No, no, it's not a real one. No, no alcohol. Yeah, no alcohol. This is no alcohol. Both of these no alcohol. Let's get our coffee and sit the road. We have to eat some trout. I am starving. And if you get really hungry, just eat right here. Yeah. you, you. She's my Ukrainian grandmother. I love her so much. She's so nice. She's so nice. Thank you. No sugar. No sugar. Okay. The coffee? Okay, let's try it. Okay. Mm. Oh, it's good coffee. Oh wow. It's also very very smoky. Plus I'm still in the smoke, right? Man. Those, two, those like three last vodkas were intense. <laughs> My friend, Jakuyu. Jakuyu. We thought we were gonna be there for five minutes, but we were there for like 30 minutes. Everybody's so, so nice. They want you to try everything. Obviously, we have to go to the trout place, but if you wanna come here, eat, relax, drink, you can do that. Definitely support the locals, buy some of their mushrooms, their jams, their vodka. Do not come here and not buy something. Unfortunately, I didn't buy anything because I have too many things in my luggage. <laughs> There's too many, too many. Long music instruments that you saw the statues were holding. It's called Trembita. Trembita is made of a pine tree which was hit by the lightning. It's necessary. And then it has the birch skin tree cover. That's the music instrument that Hutsuls use. Hutsuls is the ethnic groups and Boikos also. Boikos live here and they used to, to blow into these pipes, into the Trembitas from mountain to mountain to give signals to each other. And that's it right here? Yeah, golden trout. That fast? That fast. We weren't even on the road for like 10 minutes and we're here, golden trout. Let's go fishing. And this is it, the golden trout restaurant. Gorgeous, wow. So we have pond over here, pond over here, the restaurant here. First thing we're doing, we're gonna feed the fish, then- And we will catch the fish and then we will eat the fish. <laughs> I can't wait. And we're gonna have some caviar. Caviar, golden trout. Yeah. And they also have rainbow trout, right? Yes. Oh, that's all of it right there? That's the yes, trout? Yes, this is wow, all the fish. Oh, beautiful. So oh. it's easy to catch. And do we eat there? That's what we eat? No. Uh, we can eat there if you want. We have to eat there. From there, there's a terrace you can much, much better see. This is such a stunning place. Once you pass the main entrance, you get on this boardwalk, and here is a bunch of different ponds. You got rainbow trout, you have golden trout. My friend over here is going to feed the fish. All right. Uh, I can roll. Alex is going to teach us how to feed the fish. My turn. Just grab a bit and go. Oh yeah. The fish reacts to the sound. It is used to the sounds on water and then it knows they're gonna come food. <laughs> the first throw is always the stronger. There's just splashes of trout. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to the first pond over here. And they're bigger, right? Way bigger. Over there we're smaller. Huge. So we fed the fish, now it's time to catch some. Yeah. So what are we fishing for? Rainbow? Rainbow, yes. Rainbow? Rainbow Great. Trout. So beautiful. Love the stream here. We have, like I said, like a dozen ponds. They get bigger as you keep going. The first ones are small like that. Yeah. The other ones are like a foot, you know, like a meter. Yeah. Something like that. So you come here, you get your fishing rod and corn. You get fish and then they weigh your fish and then it's cooked there. You choose the type of baking or frying, whatever you want the way to be cooked. And that's all. And then you pay a very small fee for the cooking of this fish. Or some people who don't like fishing, they just pay for the dish. So this is the food for the fish, the corn. Here is the fishing rod. I love these type of experiences. I went to one place just like this in Armenia where we caught, I don't know if it was fish. <laughs> I really forgot, but that was in Grimri. That's in the north. That's the second largest city, I'm pretty sure, in Armenia. Here we go. Oh. It's a small one though, right? No, it's average. It's average? Okay guys, it's my turn. <laughs> you just drop it. This is not going well for me. Like at all. Four times, they took it. 
No, I'll try it again, I'll try it again. It's just because your left hand is busy. That's yeah, all. right? Let's see. That's the only reason. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Hopefully I get a fish this time. Come on, come on, come on. That's the point. Oh, that's what we had to do, right? Get two fish. She did it in one try. I did it in seven. <laughs> Horrible. It's because just because your left hand was busy. That's the only reason why. You have to concentrate on concentrate on to hold your fishing rod in both arms. All right. Now that we caught the fish, we weighed it. We're gonna go into the restaurant. We're gonna go sit down and we're gonna eat lots of fish. Can't wait. Trout. Yes. Here in Ukraine. Let's do this. Look at this restaurant. Beautiful, rustic, big. There's a few different dining halls. The one I just entered is massive. On the left, you have like, you know, European buildings, you know, right here. It says Best Fish. Over there says Golden Trout. What a monster restaurant. Incredible. And they have some pictures of celebrities who have been here. They have their own vodkas. They got jams as well. And we're coming out to the terrace to eat. Oh, well, this is gonna be good. That's the caviar? That's heaven. Death by cat. No, I'm gonna eat like, like spoonfuls. Yes. So these are appetizers. <laughs> we still have the fish coming, but we have more trout. We have caviar. We have smoked, salted. This one, I don't even know what that is. Marinated. That's marinated, okay. We have some- oh, Pickled. Pickles, right? Some, mm -hmm. some uh, vegetables. Fish cream. Fish cream with bread, so toast. Mm -hmm, we have mm -hmm. two different drinks here. Mm -hmm. And I think we have to dive on to the caviar. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to try it like this first to see how good oh. it is. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Oh, full. <laughs> I wouldn't even touch the bread. I would just go mm -hmm. like this, right? Mm. Mm. I love how they just pop. And the owners here are too funny. They're like, you have to try this local wine. Let's try it. White wine, obviously. Vujmo. Vujmo. Mmm. Fruity. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. A little dry and fruity. Okay. So, this one next? Mm -hmm. Wow. It's almost like trout tartare, right? Mmm. -hmm. This is such a delicious fishy lunch. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. yeah, traditionally, you put butter on toast yeah. and you add caviar. If you want to be like an like me, go wild. You know, I can eat like a thousand grams of this. Super light lunch. I love fish. Fish, especially from the rivers out here. You know, obviously this is farm raised, right? But this is as local as it gets in terms of a fish experience. So next up we have smoked, right? Is it smoked right here? No, this is marinated. Oh, it's marinated, and this is smoked. Smoked, yeah. Okay, so I'll go with the marinated. Mm. Is that smoked for you? Mm-hmm. How's that? Mm. Very different. Mm-hmm. Not like a herring? <laughs> no. It felt like almost like, like a little bit of bones, but it's mm -hmm. not. It's a little tougher. The outside, obviously, you have the skin. Mmm. Nice and creamy, like juicy. Wow, very different flavors here, too. Mm -hmm. And over here, we have smoked, right? Mm -hmm. This thing you have to be careful, though, because here, you get the bones. Just gotta open it up, like that. Yep, look at this. So, when you get inside the spine area, you got bones. Let's open it up. Mmm, look at this, so good. Mm-hmm. Be very careful. Mmm. Smoked is like, it's almost like pasty. Pasty flesh of the trout. This food is incredible. It's gonna go all out right now. Loving the smoked fish. What I suggest is using your hands, getting in here and separating the spine, right? And all these bones out. Separate like that. I'm over here pulling this apart. Mmm. Look at this. Wow. So good. Do you like this, right? The most? Smoked? Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I'm in awe. Mmm. We barely had fish on this trip. 
It was like mad pork the past few days. So unique. And, you know, this is a summer restaurant, right? They basically open, what, like late April? Well, they also work in winter, but the season for fish is different. Mm -hmm. There is a season when you cannot fish it, for example. But mostly all year round, you have a chance to come here, enjoy whatever mm. time of the year it is. And the cuisine is always perfect. The cuisine, the view, so peaceful, nature. If you guys didn't know, you can go skiing in this area, right? Yes. Slavskor is a kind of ski resort mm -hmm. with cable roads. You can really ski very well here and enjoy the beauty of the mountains. Slaying also depends what you like. Mm. I don't know. For me, the best has to be the tartar and the uh, caviar. The, the good choice. Yeah, the best choice. Golden trout. Fish pate. My gosh, it is like fish pate. So always on a piece of bread. Let's try this. This is like next level pate. This is crazy good. You need? Mm. <laughs> I mean, I'm a big pate guy. I love it. Eat the whole thing. Straight up with it. A spoon, just get in here and go. Uh. Give me all the fish. <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> Mmm, something different, very tender. This is vas, bread, basically soda, right? As you mm -hmm. can see, it's like a very thick, cloudy drink. It's definitely gonna be sour. It feels like it's still fermenting, mm -hmm. you know? But there's no alcohol in here. Mm -mm. Mm. I had something like this in Suriname, like straight from a tree mm -hmm. with calabash to have like the like the seed, you know, mm -hmm. you drink it out of that. Oh. Best thing though, <laughs> right here. Taking that home. <laughs> so in terms of like difficulty, smoked fish is the most difficult because of the spines. Second one would be the marinating one because you still have to pull out some of the skin. The rest are just like, just take it down, right? So here we have basically pickled vegetables. This is pickled plum, right? Mm-hmm. So try this one. Whoa. <laughs> it's like sweet. Mmm, a little sweet. At the same time, you feel that pickle taste. That is like, you can't try this one. You can't eat it. <laughs> oh, oh. Class, class. <laughs> oh, oh. I didn't think it was gonna be so hot. Next up, we need the soup. I need to cool this heat down. This is another trout mm -hmm. dish, trout soup. Mm -hmm. What is it called? It's called uha. Uha. Okay, so you have potatoes, you have some carrots, and you have trout. This is like the best thing for a hangover, right? Yeah. Mmm. Oh my gosh. So good. Mmm. It goes with vodka, though. Well, <laughs> should be very spicy. Yeah, right? Mmm. No, man. The trout just like falls apart obviously this is very different there's like no marination there's no salt there's no pepper no spices nothing but the broth here the mm. fish broth and it's still really really hot and then next to it what does it have it's, i think it's the same pate oh it is yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm not touching any bread it's gonna eat straight pate mm -hmm. <laughs> wow the broth is on fire in winter, it will heat you the best. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Here, it gets freezing. It snows, the whole place is full of snow. All good, all perfect. We have two types of uh, fishes cooked. So one is grilled on the open fire. Another one was baked with nuts, uh, onions, and chili pepper. So with trout, you have to get it cleaned. They have to like open it up for you. So that's what he's doing right now. He's opening up. The one that has been grilled. Once that's done, he's gonna do the other one. Man, this fish looks too good. Mmm. Barbecue smoky taste. Mmm. I love this fish. Wow. With dill. A little bit of lemon, right? Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. 
Wow, what an experience here with this trout, huh? Mm -hmm. We had every type of trout. You gotta try yours. So it's very cool. Swedish. So we have pine nuts, right? Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Big. It's so much more like tender, you know? She falls apart. A female trout. A female <laughs> trout, right? Mmm. I'm gonna get one more little bite. Oh, and a pepper here too. Mm hmm. And that's it, my friends. We had a pretty epic day, right? Mm hmm. Start off leaving Lviv like 8 in the morning, got some traffic. We made it like at 10.30 in the morning to the castle. Beautiful place. It's a 9th to 11th century castle built on a rock. Fortress. Fortress. And obviously th there's no more fortress because that was all burnt. I mean, it was all made of wood, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, right there they also have a little little souvenir shops. The ladies are making kebabs. Uh, they sell different things there, jams, honeys, etc. Then from there we drove another like 20 or 30 minutes um, this way. So keep going south and we stopped at that waterfall. Kamyanka. Mm -hmm. Kamyanka. And then there it's like an artisanal slash, you know, tiny village there, right? It's like six houses. It's a bad road. <laughs> bad road. Uh, so we tried some vodkas, uh, had some coffee. And I mean, the experience is awesome because everybody's super friendly. They allow you to come in. Uh, you can eat there if you want to. They also have trout as well. They have like potato kebabs. Uh, they have like five different types of kebabs, right? But snake and vodka. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not doing the snake ever. So from there, we drove over here and we got the full experience. We fed the trout, we caught trout, we ate trout in like six different ways. My favorite thing ever is the caviar, obviously, but I love the tartare. This is amazing. This one's better than this one though. I just like that. This is like more smoky. This is just more like buttery. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. And guys, if you love the video, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel. Mmm. Mmm. I can't stop eating. I love Ukraine. Slava Ukraine. Hello, I'm Slava. Come to Ukraine. Looking much forward to. For sure. Hey, a little more wine, right? Mm-hmm. To Ukraine. To Ukraine. Good more. Good more.